All right. Now let's start how to um, use the ANSYS scheme kin. First up, we start with the to open the project and enter the new project name. We're gonna have some name for it. Let's say um, H2 air combustion. All right, and then we're gonna have to select the model. In this case, I'm gonna select the laminar frame mix. Just click and drag and drop. And then we're gonna need the input and also the output. And then connect them together. So the trick is that you're gonna see the cursor change. Right, and then update project. If you update it right, you're gonna get pre processing. Double click and select your work directory let's use the, the default one so you're not gonna get any problem then we go to new chemistry set give it the name hydrogen combustion and then select the gas phase kinetic fire in this case I got it from Hadi so it's a txt file so what you need to do is to select file type into all files and this one I got from Hadi so it's gonna be this one reduce mechanism oops and thermodynamics data fire again all fire and select it and the last one gas transport data fire transport property and then you need to save as let's go for the same directory and the name they're given to you just save it and then click the run preprocessor and wait okay let's take a look at mechanism viewer if you've got something you should have the all the reaction here all the data of all the species and the mechanism um, all the mechanism that gonna happen in your um, reactions all right and then next proceed to the frame speed click here and then first thing frame speed usually we can use the um, the setting they already have here but we need to provide an unburned gas temperature here in this case I'm gonna go for let's say um, maybe 300 degree and the pressure of um, let's say one ATM this one you don't need to change anything for now grid property well the recommendation some people go for 1000 so you're gonna divide the grid by 1000 and this is very crucial for the starting axle position of your reactor so you start at 0 centimeter and then you end it at let's say 10 centimeter approximately all right and species I don't think we can we're not gonna specify any specific species so we can pass that all right and then double click and see one inlet so you have to provide the composition data we can provide mass for it maybe or the inlet velocity you can just leave it there maybe um, 40 centimeter per second well and then the yeah, species because this is a combustion so we will select the equivalent ratio let's go for stoichiometric and the species right now is going to be 
let's say 100% hydrogen for the fuel mixture so we put 100 add it but and if you already have everything then we're gonna normalize it and then you get the more fraction for one so go to the tab now oxidic oxidizer mixture well let's use air so you're gonna have nitrogen for 79 percent and oxygen for 21 percent and then use normalize and then compress combustion product in this case we should get water and nitrogen two things in most cases all right and add a species in this case we will keep things simple so we don't need to add that then go to solver this number is already good enough so we're not going to change anything in this case to make things simple and for this one we're not going to change anything either continuation we don't have the coarse couple reaction I mean for the reactor so there is no continuation so we can skip this process and then run double click that because we only have just one model to study so let's click begin and it's not gonna take that much time alright this is done done or running our job alright and for the first time that you run you can have the choice to select the plot by using new setting or an analyze the reaction part let's do the export the data well this tab is to filter the results if the result is less than you know 10 power by minus 8 you're not gonna get any data exported and the maximum is one is a mole fraction so it's gonna be limited for example in this case we are gonna have to select all again and again to clear everything we're gonna select temperature maybe hydrogen water and nitrogen and you can also select the rate of production but in this case we're not gonna analyze that okay and we can export to Excel and this is what we get this is for the distance the temperature when we take a look at the plot the number should be different so this is the plot the range versus the temperature and this is my trick put it here and create the charge so you get the species versus um, reactor range as you can see we have a lot of water mole fraction 3 moles oh no it's 0 0.3 and the hydrogens go down and more nitrogen obviously all right and for the analyzed reaction pad which is more like some fancy stuff you can do by selecting analyze reaction parts and go by next step and uh, Kimkin should produce the part of reaction so we take a look and you're gonna get some fancy stuff which we can export the photo to the PNG and then we can save this somewhere let's say um, let's put in my folder let's do combustion all right and then you export everything you have the you can check the start point of everything it's gonna change the part for you accordingly to what you selected